What's up, guys? Welcome to Triple Threat Talks. This is a little bit different of an episode because I have my best friend, Brittany, Hello. with me, and Chris is not feeling so good, so she will be on the next session, but Brittany is filling in, and she knows a little bit, but not a lot about the case, so... Very, very basics. And she has a lot of opinions. I think good. Yeah, I mean, I should probably have gotten more information before I formed opinions, but I didn't. So here we go. (laughs) Here we go. No, I mean, I think it's good that you don't have a lot of intel or information. Yeah, information, because... I think that you're thinking what a lot of us are thinking and you and I kind of think the same way. I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, I don't think it's bad, but we never think that's bad. though. Some other people might. Yeah. It might hurt people's feelings, but when it comes to the Koberger case, We're talking about the last few documents that came out. His attorney is fighting these few things that I think that she's going to fight long term when it comes to convicting him. I know I told you somewhat about this case, but they are definitely 100% trying him for the death penalty. I have my thoughts on that he deserves it i also think that he could deserve a whole life in prison where that's like he would last that long in prison i don't know i don't think he would last that long either the first day he got there he would not you know anything bad happened but he would be put on somebody's shit list at least exactly he's being held in the smallest jail ever you know, it's not like OPP or Orleans Parish Prison, whatever. But it's not like he's being held in some small... Yeah, where is he being held? In Moscow, Idaho. And I believe they have less than 100 people in that jail. Is he in, like, Solidary mm-hmm. or whatever? It's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, well, there's a reason for that. And it's being said that he likes watching his, like, the news on his case. He likes watching it. So he's like, oh, I'm infamous. Like, that is just so sick. Narcissistic? Maybe, maybe he's not in solidary, uh, whatever it's fucking called. Uh, Maybe he's not in there for his own safety. Maybe it's for everyone else's safety, because that's a true fucking psychopath. I don't know seen his manic eyes i have seen a picture of him i did see a picture of him his his eyes his eyes are like creepy he genuinely reminds me of ted bundy or somebody like that but also he Mm. is cool so he keeps his cool here's the deal ted bundy had less of a creepy vibe when I mean now that you know like right it's fucking creepy but people were drawn to him because he was so charismatic okay there's nothing charismatic about Brian Koberger he just seems like that guy that like like, I don't know like hides behind the tree and fucking watches you okay like he's creepy and you guys, this is coming from somebody that literally knows nothing about the case, but just off I mean, also know how to stab for people, like, but I'd get like that feeling if I just saw his face somewhere. I'd be like, okay, something's wrong. And I think it's the eyes because they just look black. One of the pictures, I don't know. It it could have been like a picture that was made up or something. If those were his real eyes, they were dilated. 
for what? Is he on something? Or is he just completely fucking manic and crazy? Psycho- uh, sociopathic. He has to have something wrong with him in his head. Ab for people unless you have something wrong with you, Jen. Exactly. Like, was he alone? It doesn't make sense. It was like it was very orchestrated quickly as if they had planned it out like they were about to rob a bank and had the blueprints. And they were trying to beat the buzzer of the cops showing up. Dude. It was orchestrated. But the the roommates didn't call the police until 12 o'clock the next day. So this happened at 4 a.m. They didn't call the cops till 12 the next day. So they just, okay, so they slept in because they were drinking wood. You know, look, not to wrap myself out, I have been drunk many times. I can promise you that unless I was, like, given a sedative, I would have woken up to people being stabbed in my house. Whether I got up there fast enough or not, because they did it quickly, would be a different thing. But for me, just, like, not... One of them, the girl that saw him and said that he had bushy eyebrows, tall guy, like... I don't know if she said athletic build or whatever she said, but uh, saw him. Yes, one of them saw him. She was on the same floor as two people that were murdered. Okay. But she didn't call. Okay. And she said she was in a frozen shock. I I can understand that some people would not react to that very good, but I mean, like, I don't know. They're stabbed. You don't know if they're actually dead or not. So 911 would be their best bet to live. So why wouldn't you do it? Like, if, I mean, frozen, yeah, but did you just stand there for eight hours or did you go to bed? So here's the crazy thing. Koberger's attorney. Can I ask? Sorry, I'm, I don't mean to interrupt. No. But what is he actually being charged with? Like, I'm sure there's multiple charges okay like several four counts of murder and one count of burglary because he broke into the house okay no maybe there's not enough information and i'm just like i'm speculating and i'm like thinking in my own head but like there's no way this was just like a random thing like what is the motive and so that means it's like there's got to be more in it if that pans out that there is more of a premeditated plan motive that isn't just like planning one day I'm going to go somewhere random and do something. It was more of a targeted thing. What I That's where I'm going because I feel like it was targeted. With the information I have, which is very basic information. I don't have much of anything. And I'm just, it's like, it, I don't know. It just seems very not random. Essentially, they have three different people's DNA from the crime scene. Koberger's and two other individuals. Apparently, they didn't go into any further detail with the two other individuals, it was just Koberger's, and his defense attorney is questioning it. So they didn't have names? No, nothing was brought about for what we know. Why would you have three people's DNA and only release one of them? 
did the people do it ethically or did they get the DNA through some ancestry DNA 23andMe, which all of these websites they could do that. They could, but only a few of them have you basically say, I'm okay with you using my information. I did the incest. I didn't um, read. I think I've read terms and conditions and like ever. I don't think I've ever read them. Unless they were like a paragraph long. Then I read them. But I'm sorry. If you're going to give me five pages, no offense. I've probably made some dumb decisions. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that I've read through all the stuff that they should that we should have read through whatsoever. I'm sure that was in there. And honestly, I mean, I'm not mad that it's in there because I mean, I don't plan on doing. You know what I mean? Like, but you could be held accountable for a murder. You could be a person of interest or you could be what, is, uh, that, what do you mean just because my dna is somewhere yeah that you would have to stand trial for this person but now they're trying to say that his dna was there because of why in layman's terms they're saying that the fact that they're arguing to not tell or show said info requested is making it more suspect so the fact that the state is saying we don't have to show you this information why do you want this information they're like that's sus as like show us the information we want to see the information why can't you show us the information? But the state, which is who's trying, Koberger is like, we're not going to show it to you. We don't want to show it to you, which is weird. No, the government withholding documents and information. It's like the first time it's ever happened. Right? So they're basically saying... You should show us how this shit was come about. If you're not going to show us how it's come about, that's weird. Why would you not show us? Exactly. That's what I mean. Like, so they're hiding something. In the illusion, I want to, like, because it, it's not, maybe it's not an illusion. But for us, we don't, we don't know. We, we don't. don't know. You release the information, then we will know. Because, like, then we'll be informed. Which is wild, but let's go on to the next thing. So they're essentially saying, show us what these individuals did in order to assume that Koberger was the person that did this crime. And if you can't, then what the f we're at least owed that little bit of information think they're saying that these companies that take your DNA could okay I remember a long time ago before I ever did it people say they could sell your DNA is that what they're trying to say they're essentially trying to say that these companies that take your DNA are either not doing anything by the books and they're letting the government get a little bit of your DNA. And if the government is giving them a little bit of your DNA, then maybe they're planting you at a crime scene that they're not supposed to because... The defense attorney is trying to say his DNA was planted there. Do you know how far-fetched of an idea that so far-fetched but here's the thing physically and totally morally possible because there's some morally corrupt people in this world